AirPods are well known for selling like crazy, but are they really worth £160? Today I compare it to two other budget alternatives, the Tronsmart Spunky Beats and the Halu GT1s. Don't be fooled by the stupid name, the Spunky Beats have a solid feeling case. The hinge is nicely weighted and feels more premium than the prices. The bud themselves are comfortable in the ear, but I'd say they look cheap. It's similar with the GT1s, except the case is significantly smaller, which might appeal to some of you. Once again, it feels premium and I think looks significantly better than the Spunky Beats. Overall, a more expensive look. Both of the budget options have a case which is extremely similar in feel to the AirPods, but I must say the extra bit of weight and the nicer feeling hinge does make the AirPods pull ahead in build quality. Feature-wise, I'd say the Spunky Beats come out on top, beating even the AirPods. Looking at the case, you will notice it has a USB-C. This is the future, and even Apple are slowly switching to it, so it's good to see this port. It also has an integrated USB cable. While this does significantly cheapen the look, it has proven to be useful if I've forgotten to bring up a cable with me. The GT1s have a micro USB port, which is slowly being phased out, so it's annoying carrying a cable just for this. All three of the earphones automatically connect to the phone when you pull them out of the case, quickly and seamlessly. When you return them to the case, it pauses the music and starts charging the pods. Battery life is great in all of them, but the Spunky Beats win thanks to the larger case. Sound quality is good in all of them, and I couldn't perceive any difference to wearing a good set of wide earphones. I'd say the Spunky Beats had the deepest and best sound out of all of them. One thing which all the earbuds do pretty poorly is control. All three have touch controls, but it's very hit and miss, and I often find myself hitting the buttons multiple times before something is registered. Comparatively, I think the GT1 still does it the best though. So which would I go for? The pair I use on a daily basis are the GT1s, simply because they look much smarter than the Spunky Beats. The battery life is smaller, but still enough for my daily needs. So do these earphones beat the AirPods? Almost definitely. If I had an iPhone, I might go for the AirPods because everything has been well designed, from how the case feels to how seamlessly it works with Apple products. But as I own an Android, I don't see the point in spending that much money for something only marginally better than these guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I've provided product links in the description. Thank you very much for watching.